Hi, I'm Shilpa. And I'm Jarmaine. And today we're talking about domestic abuse. Am I? I don't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Domestic abuse can affect anyone and any family, um, but domestic abuse is wrong and if you are experiencing it, there is support out there. Would it be okay to tell us a little bit about what being at home felt like for you? Growing up for me, it was very much a prison and as a child going through that, you can't speak up because you're just scared that you're going to lose somebody, you're going to lose your mother, mm -hmm. like you don't know if she's going to wake up in the morning and it was just trying to live within the boundaries of what my father has set. Was there a sense of fear? Um, definitely. Um, physically, mentally. Yeah. Mentally for me is what sticks with you the most. That's what keeps you under control. Is that a big part of domestic abuse, do you think, as well? I would say that's the biggest yeah, part. Yeah. Even after they've left, it's the most painful time, I would say, is learning to be free. And it's taken me all this time to learn how to be free. And I just urge people to deal with it a bit sooner because when you deal with pain you make yourself numb to it so you don't feel it mm. and you live from day to day and I've spent years pretending shutting that it I'm off okay. yeah yeah I think that helps people understand what domestic abuse is it's not necessarily just violence it mm. can be um, that emotional control as well that you were talking about if we were to help young people watching think about making a, a safety plan when you're in the thick of your abuse it is a dangerous time. The most dangerous time is leaving. Yeah. And it is something you have to plan. Mm -hmm. You can't just blow it out. Mm -hmm. So if you do tell your teacher, make sure they know it's just like the discretion needs to be utmost. The last person that needs to find out is the abuser. Mm -hmm. yeah. The only time they should find out is when they're being taken away. Yeah. And that's incredibly important. Mm -hmm. I guess they and won't I know it's so much to take on as a child. Yeah, yeah. But it's important because it's your life. <laughs> and that one decision that you make mm -hmm. is the step towards the right direction. Can you tell us a little bit about what, what school was like? In a way, it was a good place to be mm. because I was getting away from the abuse. But in the back of my mind, my mother was still at home yeah. with my father. And it was almost a place where I was being fake, the smiling, the happiness. I think some people might find it hard to, to think about why a parent may not leave an abusive relationship. Living in fear is it's a very difficult thing to operate within, mm -hmm. especially when you have children. My mom had five children at the time, and you have to think about each life and what the consequences are of what you do. Yeah. So whenever you tackle someone that wants to be in control, they'll try and take that control back. Mm -hmm. But there is help out there, and there are places you can go, whether it's at school, you know, wherever you go, even if you're at the supermarket and you just spoke out to someone, I'm sure that person will go and try the utmost to help you. Mm. Did you almost feel a sense of responsibility yourself as a child? I was forced to grow up very quickly, yeah. just to be an adult, just to make sure everyone was okay. Because I didn't want it riding on my mother, and I knew that I had to be a man. It sounds weird to say, but after she'd been beaten and my father had left, I used to sit on her bed and I used to dress her wounds <laughs> and like brush her hair, plait her hair and make sure that she looked beautiful like my mother always did. And in those moments I always felt older than I needed to be. Mm. Is there anything that you wish you'd known at the time that you think could have, could have helped you? I could have spoken out sooner. Mm -hmm. My sister did speak out at school okay. and mm. the fear that kept me from speaking out to anyone yeah, yeah. And then just that one moment, my sister speaking out changed my whole life. And just to make sure that you're completely honest with them so they know for sure what's going on. At the time when you realised your sister had said something, how, how did it make you feel? It was very hectic at the time. Mm. <laughs> because it was after my mother was tortured for about four days. I didn't think she was alive anymore. And my father forced us to go to school, so I was already in a headspace of not being present. So when my sister spoke out, it shattered everything. It shattered that illusion of my father's in control. Mm. And my father actually rushed down to the school to try and take us out. And I've realised in that moment how small he was. The weakness, yeah. The weakness. Yeah, yeah. Was there ever a sense that you felt like you couldn't 
talk about what had happened within mm. your family because you didn't want to kind of upset or you know mm. make anyone feel those emotions you always had to be strong mm -hmm. so talking about it was almost a weakness that's how it felt at the mm -hmm. time but you literally switch everything off just to survive mm -hmm. but i would say it's important to process your feelings so whether you're going like to school whether it is mm -hmm. it's important to speak your feelings mm -hmm. i feel are there any other things that you think are quite helpful um, for, for young people to get support? A creative outlet is incredible to have. Yeah. Whether it's music, dancing, art, acting, some, some outlet that just you can put your everything into and you can say, this is how I feel. Yeah. For me to be able to sing is growing up, I used to listen to music. So it was just nice to be able to have that freeing sanctuary where mm -hmm. I could listen to music and it was almost my safe place was within the voice of like Whitney Houston or someone. Yeah. <laughs> Keep a diary of your happy moments as well, Is I think it's important. Yeah. Yeah. Write down the things that you've done and the exciting things that you've done so when you look back you'll be like, life isn't that bad. Mm. <laughs> life isn't that bad. Look at all the happiness that, I'm, that I've decided to have. Mm. And I always find surround yourself with good people, yeah. <laughs> good friends. Yeah. like. Having a community of people is so important. Yeah. Just to share a laugh, play games together, yeah. whether it's at school, at yeah, work, yeah. anywhere. It's just such a good feeling. Back when I was going through things, I wish there was something like Childline. Yeah. An anonymous place where you can go and talk. It's just so comforting to be able to, you know, tap something here yeah. and then someone on the other end can help you. Yeah. And it's quick, it's easy. The chat for me is just amazing yeah because back then I, w I would have been too scared to call yeah but to be able to type something quietly is perfect and I would recommend that to anybody yeah we also have a message board community mm -hmm. which you can talk to other people and um, other young people going through similar experiences mm -hmm. if they were worried about searching for information or for mm -hmm. help and um, you know their their laptops or their phones were monitored by mm -hmm. someone at home and um, you can also delete browsing history yeah. I feel like when you're going through abuse, sometimes I'm guilty of it as well. You make excuses for yourself to feel a certain way. Just stop, stop doing that. Just make sure that you're living free. Mm. It's the most important. I wish that's one thing that I regret doing is just thinking, thinking like a victim is such a damaging thing towards yourself. Mm. When you think as a survivor, your whole, the whole game changes. Mm. You, you fight around, for things yeah. more. Yeah. But when you think as a victim, you just live as a victim mm. but my mum made sure we lived as survivors all the time. Thank you so much for coming and sharing your experience and thank you for having me. You're very welcome <laughs> and also helping people realise that um, you, they can survive and mm. there is there is life. And life can be incredible. Yeah. I'm having so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much thank and you. we'll see you next time. Bye. Ciao for now.